hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Easter special of Chris Smithard hosts Random Catch and Features Races. Uh, <laughs> what makes it so special, you ask? It's Easter, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> um, no, uh, it's just just the same as usual. Uh, we're going to have four races. Uh, we'll probably do a chase on the last one, because why the hell not? Um, we might have some new faces today, uh, but also some familiar faces. Uh, got Robbie Lightfoot in already. Absolute, absolute staple. Might be able to see him like string an entire course together. That would be nice. Um, be he's always had really good starts, really good like sections where he's right up there on pace with the rest of the group. Never, never managed to keep it for an entire race. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think in in our little SYO ones, he gets so far ahead in the bits where he does well, he doesn't really need to. When he makes his, these mistakes, he doesn't really need to slow down yeah, yeah. at all. Yeah, his time more, uh, but in these. Everybody it's else a different really different caliber, you know. It's not yeah, just your bog standard SYO lock here today, you know. This is the it's cream of the crop. Martin and Nick Lightfoot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one too good. <laughs> um, we also, of course, have the wonderful Joe Sunley. Um, looking forward to seeing him uh, annihilate the competition once again. We'll see. Is there a rope uh, yeah, Joe, what's the um, time the server? Well, I do not have any working maps to oh, play. Okay. I haven't got any from, um, was it Martin was meant to be sending them? Nick. I think it was Nick. And Nick. I think we sent them last week, maybe? Yeah. Well, have a look. We sent them the one. Uh, Malta centres don't have any courses on them. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Malda, do you want to... <laughs> trying to find um, those other ones yeah um, so I can uh, probably host the first two ones uh, if it will work uh, sure do you want to put the IP in the chat yeah we'll just uh, put it in the chat sweet good so, so we're having, we're having uh, technical, technical issues, issues. <laughs> it wouldn't be yeah, a standard. Sunday night stream without technical issues um Right, and Chris, can you forward those maps on again to, to Joe, please? Yeah. Thanking you. Good. Um, so, and yeah, finally, of course, as you just heard, we have Mouth Pulsing. Uh, I'm sorry that I keep mentioning your name, though. Um, Is it not so today he planned to have the courses. Uh, will this give him the edge on Joe Sunley today? Question. Well, as we've seen, he's always, he's always up there and he's with the with the front pack, but some, sometimes he's able to deliver if Joe makes a mistake, but that is very rare. Uh, but we've seen that if Joe doesn't make a mistake, he doesn't usually uh, fail to win. So Paulson, it should give him a bit of an edge. Maybe not quite enough to take the win if Joe doesn't make any mistakes, but we'll see. Yeah, there's normally like a couple of minutes, isn't there, um, of gap between them on the, on the sprint races. It is much closer on the forest. Um, but yeah, you're right. This could just give him that little edge to really close the gap. And instead of maybe like a big swing either way, we might just see a really, really close couple of races, which would be nice. Be nice and exciting. Like that. Good, good, the spectators. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can see also we have um, Laura Robertson, who yeah. I'm very excited to see running today. She's an uh, absolute class act. Um, so she's recently joined SYO. Yeah, I saw that. What's that all about? Uh, basically, SYO is just one of the probably the greatest club ever. So Johnny Crickmore's joining it. Ex Edinburgh Edinburgh Southern Orienteering Club, obviously, which is my home club. Can't say that I've ran for them recently, uh, but it always hurts a little bit when people leave, you know? Um, I'm trying not to take it personally. I'll try and be impartial, but you can never, like... I've been cut deep here. Uh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, she is ve very good at catching features. Uh, we'll definitely be giving 
uh, be given at least Robbie a run for her money. I think she might even be in front of Robbie, but we will see. Um, I think I've seen her do it once before. Yeah. I remember it though. I also see that we've got Megan Carter Davis back. Not had enough. Um, I assume she'll be at least beating, beating Chris Smithard. Everyone beats Chris Smithard. Um, <laughs> but maybe some close battles there again. They've had a few ding dong battles in the past. Yeah. And also, as a little treat this week, we have once again color in the mix. Yes. All very right. good. Um, again, very good in the forests. Oh, nice in the good. waiting room. Sorry? He's in the Zoom waiting room. Is he in the Zoom waiting room? Is he going to join the Zoom waiting room? And, uh, he's a catching features deity, really. He is. Like, you, can, you can't say a bad word about him. No, I would not dream of it. There he is. He is the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> uh, hey. Hi, how are you? Are you talking about me? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Uh, how have you been? Sorry? How, how have you been? Ah, fine. I was traveling a bit. I was lucky to be allowed to. And I'm back home. Nice. And everything went well. So, yes, I'm fine. Are you excited to take it to Joe Sunday today? Um, I hope I'm on his level today. But let's see. <laughs> I hope to be a bit a challenge for him at least. Yeah. Well, we will be I watching would closely. Say that, uh, on the first uh, race here, that the uh, color should have an uh, edge on Joe since he uh, he has created the map. Ah, oh. those maps were <laughs> some uh, fast creations. I didn't test them very well, so let's see. I don't even see which one it is. I just can read orienteering unlocked. <laughs> is is the server open? Actually, unlocked. Uh, yeah, I'll send a new uh, IP address and the message of that. I know. Yeah. It's, yeah, very interesting. Um, oh, yeah, Anna Todd. I've seen that uh, Anna Todd has joined. Oh, yeah. Um, very excited to have her here. She is it's brilliant, it's especially it's in the urban. Um, so, yeah, it's, oh, man, we've got, got a good selection. Got yeah, so... know, the absolute classics, uh, the, the staple... Uh, competitors are here, but also a few new faces. So excited to see how this shakes up the. Uh... Yeah, so Anna is also very, very young. She's twelve years old. <laughs> She's only seven years old. Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so interesting. And she's about the same level as uh, Robbie, I think. Yeah. I think. So is are... it going to be MW12 face off? Robbie Vienna, who will come out on top? And it's interesting because in the SYO ones, they're usually pretty equal. Yeah. Anna maybe having the edge. I've seen Anna um, quite often in the, the orienteering unlocked oh, yeah, finals. She, she made those. every single one and she won every single one. Yeah, so no, she uh, highlights them. Yeah, she's, uh, she is very, very good. Um, so yeah, excited, excited to see what she can do again here. Um, and who knows, you know, this, with uh, Joe Sunley in here and, and Colour and, and Paulson and Rune has joined as well, which is good. He was a bit of a question mark oh, whether or not he was going to make it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it it's going to make for some exciting races. You know, a little bit of a challenge for her, see if she can keep up with the big boys. Oh, I think I am. Right, shall we start? Um, I'm not in yet. I think I'm missing something. If you go into Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I'm just on there. For it. Okay, yeah, got it. Um, I'll write that down. So will there actually be controls out today or Easter eggs? <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait and see. I was yeah. training this uh, morning with my, uh, how is it called? If my brother has a child, my niece. My nephew. Uh, niece, if it's a girl, nephew, if it's a boy. Nephew. With my nephews searching for Easter eggs. So maybe I have an adventure. Oh, you bought me That's up. such an orienteering family thing to do, isn't it? You can't just go for a normal Easter egg hunt. It has to be an orienteering themed Easter egg hunt. Yeah, that's it. not quite the kind of thing we do. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know um my my niece is uh I think she she's like two two and a half, three. And um yeah, my my mum's already got her uh oriented <laughs> making maps Stop. and stuff. It's good. Start them early. Mm, yeah. You can't start too early, can you? I mean, I started when I was three, and look where that got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Paid I off, I would say, right? right? Yeah, I mean, I was. I was, was now. Yeah, I was an acceptable junior, and then and then I left home and got fat and slow. So it's probably my own fault. <laughs> Do you blame your uh, wives or? girlfriend's uh, uh cooking or no i i uh blame your own cooking. myself yeah <laughs> no i blame planners uh, it's all the planners mm. oh, they can't make of course. interesting courses for me and the mapper oh, i'm okay with mapping actually most of the time yeah. more the planners um, <laughs> it's funny because whenever i plan i get really sad when people say nasty things about me but when other people plan i say nasty things about their courses all the time <laughs> <laughs> So you are one of these guys. No, I don't say it. I don't say it publicly. I just say it internally. Just um, to everybody you met, meet, or met at the. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So here we go into the yeah. first course. Ah, this map. Now I know that. Oh, no. In a forest. It's a Swiss map, see, actually. Are we ready to see Chris Smithard drop down the field like? <laughs> Like, like a, a brick in a pond. <laughs> brick in a pond, indeed. So here we go, off to number one. Uh, fairly straightforward, this one. Uh, no, no outliers. Although Joe Sunday always, just a, he found a second on the first control. How does he do it? We'll never know. Yeah, I think his his computer is just faster than everyone else. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> He's got like a lag button for everyone else. So yeah. there we go. Everybody getting stuck on that crag. Um, but uh, Paulson manages to work it out first. He did make these courses though, so he gets a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a jump on everyone else. Yeah, um, I don't know if he's pre-ran them, but that will make it a lot easier for him. Yeah. Uh, so we're expecting big things from Paulson, but Color with the early early lead. But realistically, it's Color, Paulson, and Joe Sunley <laughs> already making a little bit of a gap to uh, Robbie Lightfoot. Yeah, Robbie um, Lightfoot there in in fourth, so it's looking with, good for him. Yeah, and then Rune and, and Anna reasonably close behind, uh, and Laura's in there as well. Um, and it looks like what? only Paulson finding the road route. I think that has probably helped with his map making. Exactly, yeah. he was yeah. planning the course, I think. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so he knew, yeah. Probably hearing the commentary just to go out to the road, but not at the right time, I don't think. Yeah. I think Too late. Had, the route there was to go out to the road first and come back in. So, but he went up too early, no? He lost time. The big thing uh, here, Anna going over the crags whilst everyone else goes under the crags. I don't think this is going to pay off for her because it's going to be difficult for her to find the little re-entrant and get back down. So it's uh, going to be interesting to see if she loses out there. Um, oh, in the lead still, Paulson, Colour and Joe in that little leading pack. Going so down you see like Megan falling off the back a little bit, but Schmidt is still in this group with Laura and Anna. That's... Good, yeah. uh, good work from him. Robbie Lightfoot a little bit further up the road with uh, Rune de Clerc kind of in no man's land and then this front yeah, three of, this, this front three of Paulson, Colour and Joe are all still neck and neck. Paulson with a slight lead after finding that road route which, did he find the road route or is it just because he planned it? <laughs> I, I expect it's just because he's planned it. Yeah, same. Like, just uh, <laughs> orienteering skill. You know, Maybe no. we shouldn't we shouldn't slam them too much though. Uh, yeah. How many controls on this? Uh, I can't see, but uh, I think we're maybe halfway through at this point, and uh, it is neck and neck. Here we got Anna Todd getting dragged a little bit low, taking Laura yeah. and Schminty with her. Yeah, well, I don't Robbie think they're going to be able to work that one out. Robbie being dragged even lower. Yeah, Robbie also going low, and that allows Rune into fourth place. Or was Rune always in fourth place? Rune was already. I think he already crossed him. At yeah, I think you're right, but he and now Rune. has. A big gap behind, and uh, yeah, oh, Joe Colour, taking the lead, brought off. Yeah, Color with a, a slight lead, lead with Joe and Paulson very close behind, neck They'll and still neck. Be able to see him though. And you know, Rune really isn't too far behind either. Uh, this is a really good performance from him. Yeah, um, he's got him in the middle of nowhere though, so it will be difficult for him to pick himself back up again as he is 
he's, he's definitely closer than he has been before, though, on previous yeah. races. This oh, yeah, he is. He's right up there. A much better performance from him. And then uh, it looks like Laura has uh, has been the first one to correct their mistake at nine. Uh, getting into ten, leaping up into fifth place, but it's a big gap now to, to uh, fourth and, and the front three. So here we are into 12. Surely the path route is quick here. Out to the road. And this will Close be where, uh, the front pack will be trying to separate themselves from each other. Just coming into this final section of the course. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really Colour still with the slight lead. Joe and Paulson are going to have to find some route to uh, gain back this time because it doesn't look like Colour is going to be making a mistake anytime well, soon. He has been solid on all of these controls so far. You know Joe. Finding routes is what he's good at. Yeah, but he is falling behind a little bit. Oh, unexpectedly. We've seen this from Joe before, though. He just sometimes gets caught in the odd tree here and there, and it just costs yeah. him time. Uh, Paulson has always been slightly slightly more clinical through the forest, and uh, I think with mm. the, the added boost that he planned this course has helped him, but it looks like Colour is going to be taking this one, although... Yeah, the final two <laughs> Oh, Paulson, on quick on the path, though. gets a little bit of the speed boost, and now he's in first place. Well, he's he control, the control. But oh, he's getting stuck yeah. on that crag. That's going to cost him. Colour. Suddenly come through. Colour comes through. Colour Joel gets. taking the road route. That's going to be quick for him. Oh, my word, it's neck and neck. I cannot oh. split them. Is Joel going to get this? Oh, Equal. it's a tie. Same oh, yeah. time a for me, at least. Heat into the finish. Yeah. Paulson, yes, I'm first here. Way. That was, Paulson just absolutely threw it and away on Rune. that crag. Rune not far behind at all. Rune very close behind him yeah. fourth. That was, oh, if Paulson had just kept it together off of that second to last control after such a great route choice. And here comes Robbie and Laura. Robbie on the path, that's going to save him a lot of time. Manages to sneak in front of Laura with one control to get. Now, can they navigate these crags? Laura going for the much straighter route. I think that might work for her, although... Robbie, Robbie taken to the road. The commentary, I think, maybe. Taken well, to the road, that is much quicker. The, the small problem there is there is a wrong contour on this map. <laughs> oh, I see. Action. And there you go. Robbie takes four, uh, fifth, sorry, with Laura in sixth. A great, great showing from Laura, though. I knew she was going to be uh, going to be one to look out for. And Anna, I think, just a little bit unfortunate. That big mistake on number nine really cost her. And um, she has managed to drop Schminty, though, which is, uh, is good. Uh, just coming into this second to last control. Um, I think a pretty good debut on the, the Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night shenanigans from. Oh, no, Anna. not a so easy map, so. Tense at the end. It was, yeah. And, uh, and we might actually see Schminty finish a forest course if he can keep himself together on this number 12. Back out to the path he goes. Oh, yeah, there, there is a wrong contour there, isn't there? Oh, it's further down the next. Uh... How are the bit thicker ones called? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, it was, uh, index uh, contours. Yeah, the index uh, contours. Goes the around. furthest down yeah. around 15 is yeah, wrong. If I was standing on the rock in the wrong direction, then we are imagining the computer. So, um, Craig. Yes. I have a question for you. Fine, Roy. Would you like a map review? Do you know what? <laughs> You've taken the question right out of my mouth. Yes, I would love a map review. Well, it's just, it's a colour masterclass, really. These, these Swedish maps, colour loves them, and he makes them perfectly. Like a, <laughs> like, like a toy maker perfecting his craft. He has perfected his craft, and he, he just does it effortlessly and superbly. Most of the contours are in the right place. Just one, though, at the end, causing a bit of a slip up there for Paulson. Yeah, and Schmidt has managed to find it as well. <sighs> Look at him other, in this wrong contour. Other than that, though, great sweeping hillsides. What? Tricky could you people. remind me, um, do you know the name of the man that made Pinocchio? Um, Giuseppe. Yeah, would you say that um, colour is the Giuseppe of map making? It probably is a Giuseppe. Do you, do you not think that he makes these maps come alive? Yeah, yeah, they very true. It's almost <laughs> like it's almost like they're a real a real map or something. <laughs> so um, uh, that was uh, Schminty just finishing there. 
Congratulations, Chris. Um, your first forest finish. You must be pleased with yourself. Is that my first forest finish? Uh, I, I mean, it might not be. I'm, I just I feel like it is, though. And what? And what was this? Wasn't an orienteering unlock map, was it? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. No, no. It's um, an old World Cup map. Yeah, because I thought at the start I said orienteering unlock. Switzerland, actually. It's one of the most famous maps in southern Switzerland, I would say. Oh, really shit. fun and almost feels a bit like in reality when you play it. You, you need to plan your passages very well between the big cliffs and uh, to avoid the steep areas and yeah. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, Megan, I think she got a bit too lost and decided just to call it quits um, halfway around that course, which is fair enough. Uh, so we move on to the next map. Um, which is a sprint, apparently. Although it could be a forest sprint, who knows? Yeah, sprint. <laughs> so uh, after it should after be a town. After Chris's great performance in the forest, hopefully <laughs> that's now gonna have him on a roll for this sprint race. So looking forward to big things. Um, should also see a much better performance from Anna on this one. Uh, she definitely prefers the the Anna. urban maps. Um, Anna would have, I reckon. Uh, do you remember the Cemetery Road one from last week? I, I do. How could you uh, forget? Anna would have, that's one of Anna's favourites, I think. I yeah, think her stomping ground. Very well on that one. Yeah, I think uh, we might see Anna and Laura switching places on this one. I think uh, Laura definitely seems to do better from what I've seen in the forest maps, um, whereas Anna definitely prefers the, the urban. So, uh, going to be, again, interesting to see where they end up. Uh, at the front, of course. Joe is just, uh, just on another level when it comes to to urban. Paulson almost got the better of him in the forest, um, but I think it will be even harder for him to uh, stay close to Joe. In yeah, these, I mean, uh, this, is, this is Joe's game, really. I think everybody's ready. Shall we go? Yeah. We go. Um, and yeah, and obviously color getting a. Um, a joint first on, on that last race, uh, a good start for him, uh, see if he can keep that momentum going. N not on uh, sprints in towns, my <laughs> brain is too slow. Too old. No, come on, no. Too old and <laughs> slow. <laughs> Don't do yourself justice. So here we go. Um, Already having problems on the first. Yep. Into get... number one. Joe, uh, all over the place on number one, getting very stuck. He's uh, at the back of this pack. Color he able to creep back, though. Color picking the, the slow route choice. That's yeah. not him. Um, I expected it to be on the other side. Yeah, the control sneakily placed on the other side of the wall. Of course, Paulson gets in there first. Paulson, I think this one's going to be really good for Paulson, having already planned it. He Look at this it. route that Paulson's on. Only Paulson and Laura going for this uh, this top route. And Wait, we'll see how it plays out. Did Paulson plan this one? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, I think I think this will be good for Paulson because of his planning. Knows. Who's that taking the uh, taking the wrong route there? That was Rune. Rune going uh, going up early. That's, that's going to cost him. And look at that. Paulson with a big lead now. Mm. Um, Laura should also benefit from this, although I think she maybe lost out a little bit on the way to number yeah. two. Um, so in this top group, we ah, have this like, is three. Oh. I oh, thought not. I want to go for number four first. Oh, Robbie in second. <laughs> yeah, so Paulson in first, Robbie in second. It looks like Anna also went to number four yeah, before yeah. number three, so that's going to cost her. Uh, Joel no. now getting up into second. Robbie yeah, looks like he's he, he, great back, and he has. Looks like Robbie just missed number four completely. Uh, Color manages to get in third. Oh. Schmincy in fourth. Robbie finally in fifth with Rune in sixth. Laura in seven. How messed up? Paulson is off like a whippet here. Doesn't yeah, it is. like anything can stop him. He's it's very good. off phase going for each. He test run yeah. it because if you did test run, you have a clear benefit. <laughs> Although yeah, he did a slight mistake there, though. A mistake into six. He's going there a bit early, but right. Joe's made the same mistake. Joe making exactly the same mistake. 10, 10 second mistake. Look at this with Paulson fast to split on every single control. He's a yeah. man on a mission. Um, Joe unable to make any any headway so far. Robbie now coming in with the fastest split on six, not making the same mistake as everyone else. That gets him up into third. 
Color only managing to in fourth right now with Rune in fifth. Uh, this is a, a big shake up in the midfield. Uh, and Joe making a bit of a mistake there. I have no idea where Joe is going. Yeah. I That's think a big a bit shaken by not being in the lead. Yeah, exactly. And he's, this pack so close behind so him. So far in front. Color goes into second. Rune in third. Robbie in fourth. It is those oh. three in the middle are neck and neck with Paulson. Could this way be Robbie's race? Where I mean, he all could all together. I'd love to see it. Yeah. Uh, Rune now up into second. Wait, I got this is being bounced around by a wall, I think. This is a great, great effort from Rune to be up into second. I have place. no idea what happens to I me. I think but... Color is being thrown around the map <laughs> by a wall. Looks like Robbie has also uh, had the same fate. This has promoted yeah. Rune into second place. I mean, this could be Rune's defining race right now. If he can hold uh, on to the second, I think Paulson uh, is long gone. Um, but Rune in second, Joe now up into third, but he's a long way down. I don't see him closing this gap if Rune can keep it, just keep it solid here. But man, these uh, real, real twisty paths have got Rune all turned inside out. I don't know if he knows where he's going anymore. He looks very confused on his way to 11. And that is a shame for Colour and Robbie there, getting jostled around by a building. And here and we go. Definitely so, throwing Robbie off here. Big mistake from Rune just getting all out of shape on the way out of 10, and that's allowed Joe back up into second place on his way to 12 now, with Laura now up into third. Here's me saying that she might struggle in this urban. She is looking great in fourth, although Colour just getting back in front of her somehow. I, yeah. Colour must have managed to get himself unstuck. Um, Schminty, after a, a promising start, has dropped away along with Anna as well. I'm not sure what's happened to Anna. Too much action going on here. Um, but Poulsen takes the win. Taking the win. A long way out in front. Uh, definitely benefiting from uh, planning the courses on this occasion. Um, but that's okay, you know, everyone has to plan the courses at some point. Um, and he's just making the most of it. We won't hold it against him. Uh, Joe. After being thrown around by the wall, he's back up and he's almost caught Rune up. Yeah, Rune he's just... taking a better route there into 14. Rune just had a bit of a flaky, didn't he? Yeah. So uh, there you go, Joe coming in for uh, for second place. A good um, a good fight back, a nice, a nice comeback race from Joe after making uh, uh, quite a few big mistakes in the middle of the race. Manages to pull it together and get that second place. It does also look like Rune is going to hold on or third if he can just get through into this last control um, with Colour doing well to recover I think from the unfortunate wall um, and then uh, Laura and Robbie very close together coming uh, up towards Robbie with the slight lead out of 14 um, I don't see any real way to make up this ground unfortunately with uh, yeah. one control to get so it looks like uh, Robbie is going to be taking fifth with Laura in sixth um, Although, both of them going to the wrong side of the wall, unfortunately. I was going to say, maybe Laura can just grab it at the last, but uh, the wrong side of the wall for both of them. Fifth and sixth goes to Robbie and Laura, with uh, Anna coming in in seventh. Uh, a little bit disappointed by Anna's performance there. I, I, uh, I think she could have potentially done a little bit better, but still, um, right up there. And uh, Schwinzi not too far behind either. Just off the back of the main the main battle, so she'd be pleased with that. So, for Joe in that race, it wasn't a perfect race, but when you're Joe suddenly and it's a sprint race, you don't expect to come any worse than second. Yeah, exactly. I think um, second's about as bad as it could have gone for Joe. So, uh, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I would have taken something special to beat Paulson in that uh, that race anyway. Very few mistakes from Paulson. I think even just knowing roughly where you're going next is such a big help when you're trying to plan ahead um, on these courses because everything comes at you so quickly. Um, and yeah, again, you should have gone a handicap. <laughs> yeah, but no. yeah, I think uh, we only do that for you. Steps, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, Megan um, accepting defeat, uh, clearly getting a little bit out of shape in the middle. I think, or potentially getting stuck. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes on these sprint maps um, but yeah another good uh, a good race are we going to switch servers now because that won't be confusing and do um, 
So if we jump over to Joe's server, I will just say, uh, if you just let me say in chat, Paulson, before you close it. Does this mean we have to make small talk while people change server? <laughs> and also make big talk. Yeah. <laughs> What's the like... of life? <laughs> Uh, good. Uh, looks like everybody got the message. Uh, I guess the number. IP, yeah. <laughs> is the new server open? Yes, it, yes, is. it is, yeah. There we go. Uh, good, so these uh, last two courses uh, I believe they're both forests, and I believe they were planned by Nick Lightfoot. Oh, uh, so, they're about to be real corkers. Yeah. Um, um, I believe uh, he is a planner who enjoys chunks. Um, chunk. <laughs> enjoys chunks. Loves so. a chunk. <laughs> what does it exactly mean, chunks? <laughs> Bad well, things. Wait, do you mean you've not been watching our previous streams? Because it was, <laughs> it was explained in great detail uh, yeah. previously. I think I missed some at least. And he loves a good con um, attack point. He loves a good attack point. Mm. Uh, so chunks um, for our unexperienced orienteers uh, are, are uh, when you break the leg up it, with uh, lots of uh, features along the leg, so you can like run between uh, things. Nice. He'll probably be shouting at the TV downstairs that that isn't the right description of chunk. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That was that. That's how I would think of it. That's how it was described to me. So you're you're hearing this like third hand at this point. Um, but you know you know what they say. A great saying can be said by many people. Nick has a lot of great sayings. <laughs> um, you know what they say. You can only get the controls on your course. Hello. <laughs> Colour, you're a, you're a catching features god, but Nick Lightfoot's just an orienteering in general god. <laughs> he He's known across the land as probably the the man. Yeah. Do you want something planned? He's your go-to guy. You want a child mm. coached? He's your go-to guy. <laughs> in England or in UK or in... In, in the world. The in the world. world. Ah, nice. In the world. He knows 15 different languages. Yeah, I, uh, he went <laughs> on a 40-day famine. <laughs> he, he ate nothing but beetles for 40 days. He That's crossed the good. desert on the back of a camel. Yeah. Was he sitting on the camel? No, he was standing on the camel. Yeah, <laughs> with a book on his head. Not the camel on him. <laughs> well, he can probably lift it. He is that powerful. I see. That sounds good. Yeah, quite the man. I would love to meet him one day. <laughs> Might be blown away by his excellence. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. Let's see, usually I was showing up in UK around this time of the year, or at least I did two, three times. So let's see, maybe next year. Yeah. yeah. Oh my word, can you imagine if we had I like imagine. a... Um... It, the room would buzz uh, with the amount of power. A, a Sunday night catch and features uh, meetup event where we all bring our laptops and play a big LAN, LAN uh, race. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not expecting it again. Everything will race so far. Oh, the rain's too loud. You can't hear what you're saying. Well, uh, so, <laughs> And here we go. So, Paulson doesn't have the. Um, uh, the benefit of planning these courses, so we'll, we'll be seeing a much more lackluster poster, I would imagine. And already we've got a long number two. Loves a long number two, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not just talking about, talking about on the toilet. <laughs> Come on, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> This is a family stream. Uh, some, some have to focus while... Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so we see Anna getting dragged a little bit right here, we'll see if she can wrench for that quickly, there you go, like a laser into the control. 
Uh, Color with the the slight lead on Joe. I mean, who knows where Joe is going? Um, in second, Rune up there again. Uh, another, we might be seeing another good forest performance from Rune, although running right off the edge of a cliff. Not sure that that is, that is to be advised. Uh, Paulson following him with Anna in there as well. I, mean, I don't think that's the route. Uh, Color taking this quirky route up to the entrance. Uh, is that Joe in behind him as well, potentially? I, I think Colour's got the right route here. Yeah, go for the path. And not the good execution. As fast as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see Joe going even more Joe, extreme, going all the way to the outside. Joe's got the right route there. Yeah, Joe's going gonna, Joe's gonna to get a lot of time on there. Uh, look really? at how much time Paulson has lost. That's Paulson just getting out of the forest now with Rune behind him. That has been an absolute disaster for the two of them. Now, Colour with a slight lead on Joel. Joel with... That was textbook execution from Joel. Um, and Robbie's up there as well. Another good start from Robbie. Laura and Schminty in tow. Is Schminty following? No, no, not actually. Oh my word, he's not. Um, yeah, Paulson and Rune, that has been an absolute disaster from them, and Anna as well going on that straight route was not the one uh, Joe again going a long way offline to avoid these crags, I don't think that's going to help him Looks um, like Paulson is feeling the effects of not having run the course beforehand Yeah, maybe he, in the last few races <laughs> he was getting a little bit complacent, you know just knew where he was going, didn't have to concentrate too much, and suddenly BAM all gone um, yeah, so Kyler and Joe pretty inseparable at the moment. Laura now with a big lead in third place. Where did that come from? Yeah, um, very good. I don't know how she's found that time. Maybe going through those, those cliffs she's managed to find something. Um, but yeah, finally seeing what Laura can do here. And uh, yeah, it's good. These good route choices by Joe and Kyler are really good. They've executed these controls really well so far. Yeah, and it's interesting taking different route choices, but not really too much different in time. It's nice to see how, you know, everyone can can kind of find their own way but also so keep it close. This, this course style with the longer legs, it opens it up a lot more, makes it more interesting uh, with the yeah I think. With the longer legs as well, those path options become a lot more viable, you know, they're a lot more enticing once you yeah, can, yeah, you can actually like make some time up because obviously the paths are always going to be the long way round but if you can make that time up by running on the path then uh, on the longer legs it definitely makes it more interesting now Joe going going down the hill well contouring to stay out of the uh, the brambles and it looks like he might have just gained a little bit of time there um, just closing that gap ever so slightly on colour um, Laura still holding her own in third as well going for that uh, same route as Joe yeah um, looks like everyone's favouring that route now. So just colour with the straight line. Having, having heard it, except for Megan. But um, a little bit of a mistake from both colour and Joe going a little bit over the uh, overshooting the but control, and that's right. allowed Laura oh. right back into the yeah. scene. This is, this is definitely the best we've seen of Laura so far. Yeah, absolutely. She's putting on a, a great performance here. Just we'll have to see because I think it's been her consistency that's letting her down. So. Can she keep it together for the entirety of this race? And, but and Laura will be able to see Joe and yeah. let you the game. Exactly. So that and that should hopefully pull her along as well. Being able to see Joe in front of her should um I don't know, that always uh means you don't necessarily lose your map quite as much because you've yeah. always got that other person being like, Yeah, I am still going the right way. Especially it's, when it's Joe in front of you. Yeah, exactly. I mean you've got Joe and Colour, the two people in front of you, you know that you know, you're you're doing not too bad. And um, everyone's sort of catching up on them a little bit. Yeah, I think this package Joe might have slowed down a bit. Um, Paulson and Rune doing very well to get back up into fourth and fifth after their really big, bad, uh, pretty bad showing coming out of uh, three years. Uh, yeah, Paulson and Schminty there. So oh my word, yeah, Schminty's in yeah. there as well. Big run there. Um, Rune is in there too. Both in yeah, yellow on my screen. Uh, and Schminty immediately making a mistake. <laughs> um, oh my word, another mistake coming out of Joe and Laura, both going too low on number 11. And again, overshooting this one, 
Uh, oh, we're shooting number 12 too. They colour take a bit of the lead in the final closing stages of the race. It's all it's over the place. Yeah. Colour now with a huge, I mean, it's not a huge lead, it's two bigger leads, obviously, but yeah. it's a good lead. And Laura was uh, was also beating them, but she's not chosen to go on this path, and that could yeah. hurt her. It's definitely slower. Um, and for colour, these final two controls won't be that difficult. We can already see number 13. And 14 is just on the end of a massive crag, so I reckon he'll be able to sustain this lead. You reckon? So, yeah. unless he gets caught off on some of these crags, it has happened before. It looks like Laura might actually just be uh, about to lose this one. Uh, Joe's managed to get a little bit of a gap again. I think just that, that path option that we went for was the quicker one um, in this this occasion. Um, but again, oh, great top. performance. Uh, yeah. Color coming in in first place. Good yeah, jump from uh, yeah, and it's Rune and Paulson neck and neck. Laura coming in third. That's a brilliant performance from yeah, her. Paulson with a slight lead, but and I think Megan honestly, is fifth. Oh my word, yeah, Megan is fifth. That's a great performance. She's in this is the first race she's saying. Paulson gets it in fourth. Rune in fifth. Very close to them two. Looks like Megan's going to come in in sixth. This has been a very close race this time. Uh, everyone's been right on top of each other. Looks like Megan getting a little bit stuck on the wrong path, but she manages to correct it to sixth place. And uh, Schminty in 7th with Anna only managing 8th. Um, and Robbie is... Robbie, I think he's vastly off the pace there. I think he might have been a bit shaken up by a few controls there. Anna completely missing the last control. Um, well, I but, don't think he's much danger of being caught by Robbie. Yeah, and um, wow, that was... That was really something, that was a very close race. Uh, a lot of good racing all across the board. Unfortunately, we were only really able to cover the front of the yeah. field, but, um, I mean, the comeback run from Paulson and Rune was something else. Um, so, uh, that course. I I thought that that course, I, I liked it a lot because the style of the long open legs means, it, means that towards the middle of the course, we had good packing and bunching, uh, meaning we could really focus on the competitors and how they would do um, these tricky little controls. But towards the end, it seemed like everything came together, and it was quite tense towards the end. With yeah, definitely. I think the um, the more open nature of this forest meant that uh, the orientation was potentially a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that kept the field much closer together, and it was you know all about those tiny little wobbles in and out of the control, you know, you have to the be... speed is quite high. So yeah, definitely. That's how it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it, you know, it was all about the, that the pinpoint accuracy into the control, which really counted on this race, and, and that was a nice, um, a nice difference, I think. I think we might call this one on Robbie, though. Um, yeah, he has a wee ways to go, and uh, everyone else is very finished. Um, so now we're in for the arduous oh. task of um, describing the chase again to all the new runners and, uh, <laughs> and then also deciding what order we're going to be doing it in. Um, so, uh, Jamie, if you'd like to fill for the next however many minutes that it takes me to take um, this. Do you want me to tell you about the next course? Is it the second Nick one? It is, yeah. So, hello there. The next course is on a little map called... As des boofs. Um, That's the one we just ran. Oh, is that the one we just ran? Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, the, ne the next map, this means, is on Kajolan, which is probably not a brilliant, uh, probably not a, a brilliant pronunciation there. The map's by Knub. Uh, it's Swedish terrain, and there's large crags that might be impassable. Uh, that, that race, wow, that was quite a corker of a race there. Colour coming out on top, I'll give it to him. That was a good run from him. We love to see it. So, um, who are we going to give as our uh, first off? Uh, I think probably... Colour. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think probably Megan off zero zero. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, no. Sorry. I got it the wrong way around. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I messed up there. Oh. Yeah. And then, are we going Anna second? Yeah, I, Anna second, then Robbie. Or, no, Schminty. Must be Schminty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always forgot about it, didn't you? Yeah. 
Trinity of Suicide, and then I think Anna in third. Yeah. So, Anna's performances tonight have been not as great as I would have expected. Yeah, I so, know Anna can do better than what I've seen tonight. I she thought could, she could do better on the sprint. But. She could pull something out of the bag here. But we'll be fair and go on the form that we've seen tonight. Yeah. Um, Robbie next, for sure. Then, uh, then probably Laura. Uh, yeah. She was very good in that last race, well, but maybe, previously... Uh, what about Rune? Where does Rune go? I think Rune he'll maybe go next. Tonight, from that last race. Um, I'm going Laura and then, then Rune, I think. Yeah. Is this fair? Yeah, yeah. I'm not missing anyone. Um, and then I think we go Paulson. I honestly do. No, I think Paulson. I think his early victories were down to the planning rather than. Uh, yeah, so you can go three. Especially the this is the sprint one. Um, and then color probably in in four. Yeah. Aww. Um, I mean, Joe struggled, but I still think. I. You want him be behind me? Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you think so? It will be a difficult forest map, as I see. So. I think Joe off last is uh, is the way. Is that everyone? Uh, I think that's everyone. Um, uh, looks almost like... Okay, we're good. Right, yeah, everyone remember your times. Mm -hmm. It will be a difficult Swedish map from good <laughs> old <laughs> map making no knobe. Do people know how it works? Did you, did you put how it works in the chat? Frank, who do you want to follow? Um, oh, can we follow Paulson? He's like ni nicely kind of in the middle, but should do well. No pressure, Paulson. Okay, so I think this is another Nick special, so we expect some longer legs. Excellent. So, um, Megan off first. No one. Um, so, I mean, I think the thing is, right, so Megan has a reasonable head start. All she needs to do is keep it consistent, not do anything too reckless. Just yeah. She doesn't need to get fast to split. She just needs to be consistent and not make any big mistakes. And she can be right up there at the end of this course. Um, same goes with Schminty and Anna. These front three really just need to be nice and consistent. Um, yeah, I think Anna could definitely pull something out of the bag here. Yeah, she's she's definitely got it in her locker. Um, we've we've not yet seen it tonight, but um, if if it all comes together for her, it, it could be a very good race. However, she is in the process of slightly overshooting that second control. Um, Schminty so far with the fastest split to number two. Sprint. Um, uh, well not uh, the chasing in this forest is a lot different to in the urban because in the urban you can space yourself out and you can't see the competitors as much so here they will be able to see each other pretty quickly i think as they catch up and now yeah. they can just drag them in slowly slowly catching up more easily like robbie is just overtaking anna there yeah so megan and schminzi at the front now coming together um megan just you know she had a great route into that control but then just stopped a little bit short and double back just i think just a bit hesitant you know she's um um just just not quite confident in her in her ability on this game at the moment um just to really uh get that it's just the last few meters into the control that she's been struggling with but um puts herself back up again and, and has a nice little lead this this front group of three of um megan schmincy and robbie I think if they can kind of work together a little bit and, and keep it nice and consistent, they'll have a good chance. Um, but Rune and, and Laura yeah. already closing quick. Um, They're keeping them down. Rune, Paulson, Laura. Yeah. And just a little update. Color with fastest splits on all of his controls so far. So he is on a charge right now. Uh, definitely closing the gap to those in front. Like a machine gun. Um, yeah. Looks like this group at the front has made a big mess of control five way <laughs> offline for all three of them oh no uh, i see where we also are overshooting number five rune and Paulson now Maybe into that control and um, that's a shame it looks like they're oh, starting it out slightly uh, laura gets in there in uh, in third place color also rune making a huge mistake yeah. 
he's off on one. Um, so ah, there, nice. there goes his race. I didn't um, understand the map there, so <laughs> I still don't. Joe, yeah. Joe getting in well, um, just at the back of the uh, the main pack now. So he'll look, I will come back to, to cut through them quickly. And yeah, uh, color now into number five. So we'll see what he can do. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but Rune had a very good race on one of the chasing sprints. Uh, yeah. Last week was it, or was it the week before? And so I he, think last week he won. He was yeah. He is known for doing these chasing sprints quite well, but he has overshot number seven. It seems. Yeah, overshooting number seven allows Paulson into the lead. And I mean, that might come through as well. Paulson has been pretty flawless so far with his uh, you know, split second, fourth, second, first, third, first. You know, pretty, just pretty spot on on everything. Um, and he's really he, being able to make headway here with this lead. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a nice, a comfortable lead. buffer. And it's a big group behind Rune at the front of it with Laura in second. Joe's in there, Schminty's in there, Robbie's in there. It's like everyone has come together. Um, but Paulson out in front right now. It's looking good. Looking good for him. Uh, Rune's still staying in second, though, at the, at the front of this the wrong route around that crack, Paulson did. I'm not sure, though, because Rune also getting stuck on the, uh, the steep side. I think it's just quite steep. It takes a while oh, to yeah. get up. But now uh, staying around the outside of the green, which is, is good. The chasing group going the shorter side of the green now. Um, and here we go, Paulson making the first mistake. This could allow Joe Sunley into the lead. He's managed to get to the front of this group, although Paulson looks like he might have corrected himself. Yeah, Paulson has. Right. Yeah, so it's now closer from Joe. That. Schminty up there, after his big mistake at five, has managed to get back into this race somehow. Uh, Rune in fourth, Laura in fifth. Robbie's in there as well. Color just off the back of this group. Um, be interesting to see once he latches onto the group. It won't take him long to cut through it. And, um, and then he'll be at the front of this race. Joel now into the lead. Um, he's managed to claw back all of that time. But Paulson in tow with Rune in third already dropping off the back. I don't understand how these guys managed to cut through the forest so quickly. Yeah. It is very yeah, impressive. Like bulldozers. Um, Laura's still up there. We've we've dropped um, Anna and Megan. I think uh, Megan's still stuck on number five. Uh, Anna a long way back, still yeah. on the way to number nine. Um, so they're probably out of this race. It would take a real big mistake from this front pack for them to be able to get back in it. Um, there might be one crag that everybody gets stuck on. That is true. That is true. It's happened before. Um, but here we go, Paulson and Rune just trading, uh, Paulson and Joe, sorry, just trading places, but Rune has caught back up, he is right in the mix in this little battle for the front place, and he'll be able to see both of uh, his competitors in front, and that'll give him a little bit of reassurance as well, just stay on line, stay with them, um, still a good few controls to go as well, so he's got plenty of time to, to gain the lead later on in this course, just needs to stick with this group for now, I think. And uh, keep his head in the game. And here we go, Colour now up Great, into fourth. Yeah. We've got Very a familiar, familiar top four. Um, yeah. But a big gap to this chasing group with uh, Colour in the in the lead of the, the chasers. After the Laura, right. Robbie and Schminty in tow. Uh, looks like Laura, though, is um, sticking to her guns, not trying to follow, uh, which is nice to see. Um, going the long way around this... Uh, this hilltop doesn't really cost her anything. Um, I think it was six and, and two and threes there. The terrain coming down just in number 13 now is really, really vague. And everything yeah. looks the same around there. So very good with them getting that all right. Looks like Paulson getting a little bit of a lead here. Um, yeah, very fast down there. How does yeah, he I, just, I think he just took a, a, a very direct line. I, I think that maybe uh, Joe and Rin... Uh, Overestimated I think how difficult. out of the control. He 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 caught up out of the control. Yeah, um, it looked like he went a little bit straighter as well. I think. Yeah. Joe and Rune potentially overestimating how difficult it was going to be to run through that slightly darker section of green. And yeah, um, later. Also with a like, big lead coming yeah, into the well, last control. Coming into the last control. And um, colors up into third, right behind Joe with Rune losing out. Um, and oh, yeah. Laura's in there as well. Color and Laura have done really well to close what was quite a big gap realistically, um, but Paulson has has edged out edged out a, a, a nice gap and it looks like he's going to take the win here. Yeah, but Paulson's... Joe will want to slowly mop up his lead. Here we go into the finish for Paulson. 
Not only. A really, really good right. display um, on that course. Especially um, towards the end. Yeah, a really good clinical towards the end. Mm. And um, and oh, Joe and Color to... both ah. making a mistake into the last control. Rune gets it for it third on a color big, big mistake from Color. Ah, uh, what a bad race. Uh, yeah, yeah. Giving away another round, apart from Aiden Paulson there, who was pretty smooth. Yeah, definitely. Laura coming in for fifth. I think she'll be pleased with that, and, and quite a good run from Robbie as well. Yeah, not too far. Seconds. Yeah, not too far off the pace from that front group, realistically. Um, yeah. And here comes Schminty as well, not that far behind. That was, that was probably one of the closest uh, chases that we had, I think. And, yeah, yeah. Usually there's someone well off in front. Yeah, that was very good. Paulson only getting that lead right at the end of the race. Um, yeah, great, great little race. Wow, we've had we've had some really really good races uh, this this evening. Yeah. Um, what was your favourite? Oh, I don't know. I really enjoyed the last one that that we did um, in that forest. That was really close. Um, I think very my, my favourite has to be the one, uh, the second to last one. I really like the legs on it. Yeah. Yeah, um, absolutely. How I um, close towards the end. Yeah, and here comes Anna. I think it's it's been an, an unfortunate evening for Anna. Um, yeah, maybe I think it might have been the first time she's played in a while because she was a bit off the pace there. Yeah, maybe just a little bit rusty. Um, definitely seen well, better from her, but yeah. You know, Everyone, everyone has their days. Um, coming into the finish now. It was, uh, it was good, to, good to see her though. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Um, I mean, she was right up there at times, so um, we've definitely seen the potential that she has. Um, just needs to keep it a little bit more consistent, I guess. And uh, unfortunate for Megan, just making a real, a real mess of number five. I think the rest yeah, of her real, course is a been, real dog's dinner. Yeah, exactly. I think the rest of her course has been pretty consistent. Um, but just just a, a huge mess of, of the fifth control. Um, and that's put her way out of touch, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that was that was good. Um, Chris, how, how, uh, how did your race go? Well, that was the best week yet for me. Yeah? You happy? <laughs> I must be improving a bit. Or maybe yeah, it's because I went real orienteering today. <laughs> yeah, you've been switched on all day. Um, so has, uh, has South Yorkshire been playing recently? Oh. I have what? Has South Yorkshire been playing re recently? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, they they have, they've been playing like recently as in the last uh, few weeks, I think. Okay. Uh, Paulson, a very very dominant victory there. Uh, you must be pleased with with the results from this evening. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, really pleased with the ending on of the chase. Uh, I'm sure from home, just yeah, got a really good execution. Made a little bit of a statement. And in the mind, uh, the other guys catch up to me. But, uh, when, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I thought you had you, you had a nice a nice solid lead, and then you like you say that that mistake at number nine. You fixed it quickly though, uh, quick enough to to still be at the front of the pack, which was, I think, important um, yeah. for you be, being able to continue. And then, yeah, just clinical at the end. Very impressive. I, I, think, I think you must have been practicing because we've seen you become a real dominant force in these uh, these little catch and feature sessions. Yeah, yeah just playing the, the competition that gets, uh, gets posted, so that's, that is... Uh, the side and commerce and the control and catching features if there's any nice compositions out there. Yeah. And uh and Joe, bit of a disappointing one this evening? Yeah, not too happy with it. Too many mistakes in it during each of the races really. Yeah, I, particularly in the sprint. Uh some very big mistakes from you there, which has been surprising. Uh That's just good. head not in it today? Yeah, not really. I got confused on number two for the sprint and just couldn't get back into it yeah yeah that happens sometimes you know you, you make that mistake and it just kind of throws your rhythm and it it takes a while to yeah to get back in and when the courses are, are so short especially uh in the game it, it's 
by the time you've got back into your rhythm, it's the end of the course. Um, but yeah, um, you gave us some good races though. Um, put on a good show, so thank you very much. Um, and lastly, colour. Uh, you happy? Let's better not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that last race was. How many really times bad. can one man throw away the victory? <laughs> it's the name of your autobiography, I think. <laughs> you think so? No, I, I was always uh, doing good races in the. Not on our whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, you. I mean, you managed to win one, so uh, you got to at least, at least take that. Um, and you were unfortunate in the sprint as well to get stuck. I think you would have probably at least got a second in that race. Um, yeah, sprints are something different in this game. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, sprints definitely come with uh, their, own, their own portion of luck. Uh, just I don't know how the fast luck. guys do it. I know it in the forest, but not on sprint maps. I have yeah. no clue. <laughs> I think like, some of it's consistency oh, and, and some of it is just a little bit of luck um, mm. to not get caught on those wall corners. On all the invisible walls and the fences and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you got caught with you. That was yeah. quite tragic to watch. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think it's uh, been a very successful evening. So, um, as Megan comes into the finish, I think we'll, we'll say goodbye. So, uh, I think this might be the last one as well. Um, oh. I don't know. What do you think, Chris? Well, it depends. If people plan them. Yeah. I don't know, and just yeah. like uh, numbers dwindled a bit last week. We did manage to get some more people, well, some new people in this week, so maybe we can keep going. Um, this is what we did last week as well. <laughs> like, don't know if there's going to be another one. Maybe there will, <laughs> maybe there won't. Um, well, you know what they say? Yeah. If you want to do catching features, and but you don't have any courses to plan, but you have no courses, then you've got to ask Nick Lightfoot, because <laughs> I know plan the courses. <laughs> it's something like that, I'm not sure. <laughs> the classic saying. Yeah, um, I know so many people that say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, tune in, uh, tune in next week for more. Um, thank you everyone for joining and playing, and planning and organizing. Bye. Thanks. Bye.